Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valencia Kenge, if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before on my channel, obviously. Um, what I'm going to do, well, what I'm going to show you guys, it's a tutorial, it's like a how-to video. But hopefully this is the first of many to be launched on my channel. I get a lot of questions about how I edit stuff, like I custom make my laptop wallpapers um i change them every month i try to change them every month but i'm not even gonna lie since may that's the only wallpaper that's been on my laptop since may so the orange team was the last thing i did i'll pop it up around somewhere here so you guys can see as soon as i finished with school like my creative inspiration just flopped so all of a sudden i've just been rocking the may wallpaper and i'm just i'm sick of seeing the orange at this stage so that's why it kind of pushed me to show you guys how i'm going to make my august wallpaper I think I was just talking to myself. The screen turned black and I was like, don't tell me I wasn't recording. The good thing I wasn't saying too much, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. Let me just start over. And before I even begin, I should clarify that I make them on my Mac, my MacBook, my laptop. Like. So it's going to be set you different to Windows, but most of the programs run on both that I'm about to use. I'm gonna show you guys two options. So one option will be with the app over. It's another kind of similar graphic design layout app, similar to Photoshop, but more like beginner friendly to use. I'll show you guys how I edit on over and how I edit with Photoshop. When I started off doing the wallpapers, I did my first one, two wallpapers on over the app, all on my phone. So it was really quick and easy, but then recently I just kind of jumped over to Photoshop. It does the same thing. I kind of made my decision that the theme I'm going for, for August at least, is definitely going to be white. August is like my rebirth month. So I feel like the theme for rebirth is just white, pure, clean, everything, just fresh. Everything I source the images from is usually from Pinterest because Pinterest just has the aesthetic that I go for for wallpapers. So as you can see, there's two slides kind of thing. I always make two wallpapers and make them like a slideshow. What I'm going to do different this time is I'm going to make one like a collage theme as you can see right now. And I'm going to make the second one using my graphic tablet and my graphic pen. So the second one would be more like a calendar thing with like some scribbles and personal designs that I'll make. I probably didn't explain it properly, but you guys will see once I do the process. So let's get into it. First things first, three, two, one. I don't know where I'm gonna be. This is my Pinterest homepage. Yeah, this is what's doing right now. It's a bit of everything. So you can already see some things are coming up white recommended for me because that's what I'm going for. So, right. Yeah, basically what I'm doing right now is seeing what else I can add onto the folder I've already made. I might have even too much. But it's better to have too much and too little, so that's gonna be saved in wallpaper. This too. Okay, that's enough. Let me actually take you guys to the folder that I made, which is what am I doing? It's right here. Sorry guys, this my energy sounds quite low. It's because it's basically almost midnight. I'm quite tired, but I'm still gonna pull through and film this video. This is the wallpaper folder I made for August. As I said, the theme is going to be all white. So what I do is save everything on Pinterest into this folder and then from there, I just start downloading them. I have like a folder made dedicated to all of this, so it's already called wallpaper. As you can see, I have February. I don't know why March is not here, but I definitely made the March on my phone. That's why it's probably not on my laptop. But February, March, April, May. As you can see, I already have the August rebirth saved. What I'm going to do now is just create a new folder, and this one I'm going to call Aug 21. I'll even show this in there. Right click, save image as. I'm not bothered like renaming the file, it's just I'm just gonna leave them as it is because I can already see the thumbnail of the pictures. So I'm gonna go inside the August folder that I just made, save it. I'm just gonna leave it as JPEG, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter for this because it's just gonna be collage. There it's downloaded. Open up the folder again on Finder and you can see it's there. So yeah. Right, so now that I have all the images saved onto the August wallpaper folder, I'm going to hop right into Photoshop. Why is it saying found or found? <laughs> Did I say it? Is the question. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but yeah. Here is the August <laughs> wallpaper file opened up. 
I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible to explain, like just really quick. So basically, artboard is just a page in your life. So page one slash artboard one is here. Page two slash artboard two is there. I'm going to show you guys how I got to that stage. So here, you literally just click create new. In Photoshop, it shows your recent items. And as you can see, the dimensions are also down here. What you need to do, not everyone is going to have the same screen dimension as mine, basically. If you make it on a bigger canvas, it's going to crop out some of the parts on your laptop if it's smaller. Vice versa, if it's too small, it's going to be stretched out and fuzzy if your screen is bigger. What you have to do is make sure it's the right dimension. Let's just say you have a Dell laptop screen. Can I spell? Resolution whatever brand whatever type of laptop you have you have to make sure you google it and look up the screen resolution so here you see the answers let's just say this is the type of laptop you have and 1025 by 768 screen resolution is your laptop so you have to make sure when you go into photoshop let's title it wallpaper why can i not type today in width let's say it was what was it 1024 by 768 let me just jump right in and create it real quick that's going to be your screen resolution so you can already see the difference from my laptop screen resolution to what could be your laptop screen resolution this is closer to a square where this is really long a landscape kind of thing that's just an example go back onto the home page call it wallpaper again and literally whatever your laptop screen resolution is type it into the width and height and make sure the orientation is on landscape this is portrait this is landscape so it's longer than it is high what i did for mine personally was type macbook 16 inch and the answer i found was here it's 30 72 by 19 20 screen resolution and it's already here because it's one of my recent items resolution you could increase it to 300 but i just leave it at 72 it's not that deep uh, color you could work with cmyk but here the options going up as rgb 8 bit 16 32 i'm just gonna leave it like that i'm not gonna complicate things background content i'm going to leave it as white and i'll customize it later create and that's how i got to my artboard already here and all i did to add that second artboard was click on the border so you see if i click here in the middle of the page nothing comes up on the sides if i click on the border or close to the border you see these arrows start to come up on the edges basically so if you want to add a page on the top you can add it there if you want to add a page on the bottom you can add it like that to the right and so on you can do as much wallpapers as you'd like <laughs> let me just get rid of them and stick with the original pattern that i had set up which was side by side left and right that's usually how i work with wallpapers what i will do is show you guys really quickly a past example <laughs> the april one i made was pink themed as you can see like i said i like working side by side after i did this i went into lightroom and i color corrected everything so i made it pink my rainbow so i'm gonna go back onto the august folder i made and literally just start dragging some of the files in so make sure you select artboard one and drag keep pressing enter 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 i don't tend to drag all of them in i kind of drag them bit by bit so i can work with the layout more here i'm just roughly spreading them out to see what i'm working with usually i just click all of them in the center and then spread them out it's not the final layout just seeing what i'm working with this is the final importing that i'll do just five more but so far do you see the vision this one looks really blue this is all the images i gathered and collected and just to clarify things, let me go in there and rename the artboards. Yeah, I'm going to rename the artboard so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to change artboard 1 into collage. And then artboard 2, I'll change to calendar. I think that's how you spell calendar. I don't know why I'm not spelling things properly recently. And you could be extra and like rename each image, but ain't nobody got time for that. Like if you select something, it highlights it so i don't do the whole renaming thing because it's personal use if it was like a professional you probably should name the layers but this is a rough tutorial in it and now what i'm going to start doing is playing around with the format of everything that's all i'm going to do just lay them out resize them into a manner that i like
if I want to make something go beneath the layer, just click and drag it down the list. So you see, here was over, I dragged it down, lower, and it obviously came beneath one of these images. And just, I'm going to try to be cautious and leave some gaps because like I said, I do like when the background shows this white color will not be pure white. I'm going to change it to a color that suits more. So yeah, I'm going to delete this one because it's just too blue. It's not matching the theme. And I'm kind of contemplating if I should get rid of this one because it just bought white shoes. <laughs> I just realized I have two of these. So another thing I realized I forgot to do was hop onto this app called Nietzsche on my phone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's free to download the app called Nietzsche, but to get access to the exclusive kind of stickers and stuff you might have to pay for that you have access to certain things but there's obviously limits what i'm going to do is get one of the images i have what i'm seeing here is the steps so i'm going to try to find the steps select it i'm going to airdrop it to my phone if you don't have a mac iphone situation you can always just dm yourself send an instagram send a messenger email it to yourself just to find a way to get it onto your phone or just even hop onto Pinterest on your phone and save it from there. So yeah, I go on to share, airdrop, and my name should be there because my phone's really close to my laptop. So there it is there. It's quite blurry though. Okay. So I'm going to hop back onto Nietzsche, select the photo, import it. But yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the border. So click on that to make sure it's off. Enlarge it a bit, center it. And then go on to the stickers. Like I said, I don't know if this is open for the public or just for members, but I purchased the membership. This content is available for me. I'm not sure how much of it is available for free users. This is where you get the calendars kind of thing. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And just basically enlarge that. That looks good to me. I'm gonna save it. Hop back onto my camera roll, crop it airdrop it back onto my laptop and drag it in here and now i have the august wallpaper i just upgraded the picture so you can see before the calendar and after the calendar so with the one that i make the calendar onto i always make sure it's more centered but i always make sure that it has a prominent view with minimal cropping so for me here looks good i'm gonna move the plan over so yeah basically just more messing around with the layers Right here, I'm kind of struggling on where to place the plant. I think it's just the size, it's just too large for my liking. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. That looks nice. So, yeah, this is the collage final layout. I feel like my eyes are definitely getting watery. My face is definitely sweaty at this point because the lights are just on me. So, yeah, that's the collage side really happy with how that came out like i said i'm gonna change the background to a different color go on to this color panel thing let me just show you guys you can go red and then go on to this bucket paint bucket tool basically yeah click on the background which is the first layer so scroll all the way down to the bottom click on the bottom and whatever color you select in this foreground color is what you can transform it into so you can even choose and say this purple blue color click on the background make sure you click on the background i'm not even gonna lie even this color here is already selected i don't know what this color is i might go with that it's kind of like a tan i feel like it's too yellow so i'm gonna work with that though and just maybe drag it down here ah yeah i like that you can see all the gaps i left so before and after before and after so one more final thing i will do with that is go on here and just type in paper texture overlay whatever kind of paper texture i see i like this one here i feel like i've used this before i'm just going to save it onto the august wallpaper folder i already have made go back into photoshop and basically what an overlay is going to do is kind of act as a texture overlay a texture it literally does what it says with this to make sure it doesn't do this whole even ration resolution thing hold shift so you can just 
shape it out so I don't hold shift it's just going to stretch it out evenly and it's not going to cover it the way I want to the perfect ratio when you do this step you have to make sure you put it on the top of all the lists so it's at the actual top of all the images guided together so you can't see anything else so let's see hide this layer then you can see your stuff unhide it you can't see it because it's at the pure top then what you do is go on to this little section here you'll see it says normal this is the blending mode when it's normal it acts like a normal layer and just covers everything underneath it you mess around with how it blends but you just kind of scroll around with all of these and see the different effects that it does i always just select multiply one of the other ones it could be darkened sometimes but i usually select multiply as the blend mode and then opacity 90s 80s i leave it at 90 just so you see it's a paper effect but not a full-on exaggeration so now you can see if I zoom in, especially on this image here, it looks like a paper overlay. So that's pretty much the collage size basis done. Yeah, usually I stick a couple of stickers on there, but I don't really like the other one I'm seeing. Actually, this one matches too. I could stick it. I could work with this. So I'm going to save this one as well. Yeah, let's go. So go back into Photoshop. Drop it in. Make sure it's a PNG. Drop it in here. It's already a transparent background and i'll do the same with the second one it doesn't always work because some of them aren't actual pngs but um okay as you can see this one didn't come out as a png drag it in here onto the side use the magic wand to delete what i don't want deselect and that leaves it there and what i do is click option and drag option and drag option and drag so that i can go in here and crop what i want so let's say i want this one here i select the top here inverse press the backscape clear button and now the command d for deselect and bring it in here and now i have it like that so as you can see i have several i'm literally just going to keep repeating the steps so selecting all the duplicates I have, selecting this rectangular tool, cropping out what I want, selecting inverse again, clearing what I don't need, deselecting and dragging it back into the collage. That's basically what I'm going to keep repeating and messing around with the layout. Again, like I said, keep messing, messing, messing around with the layout to get what you want. And then with this rose, I really like the rose, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm planning on doing with that. I'm going to hold option and drag it once you press option you see that there's a second kind of duplicate mouse there that's how you know it's going to duplicate twice so you see when i don't press option it's just one when i press option it's going to duplicate the mouse yeah just gonna mess around with the rows rotate it and stuff mess around with the sides that looks nice and one thing i will do is just make sure to select the overlay paper texture and put it on top of everything I just did before, after, before, after, before, after now everything just blends in nicer now this side is officially done guys I'm so tired so here I'm just typing the app name onto my phone open up the app after that I click on create a little plus sign in the middle I click on the transparent template here I'm going to type the 3072 by 1920 then I click on the bottom left image tab opens up my photos then i select the photo i want to insert which is the staircase then once it's already just mess around with where you want the image to be placed when it comes to changing the color of the background you just click on the layer icon and then it gives you the screen resolution you click on that and then color palette comes up and you just slide it around to whatever color you would like to change it to to finish the steps up you just import more photos mess around with the layer and one more thing to do is to import the paper texture that you've already googled and saved onto your phone this is the last step you place it on top of everything and then you slide around the bottom till you get the blend mode which is the last icon and then you select multiply as the blend option you really have to just make sure you're into doing this and just bring out your own creativity the thing you want and just put your and that's how it should look like when it's connected it lights up ouch so yeah 
obviously this button here is the zoom feature this one is the zoom in and all that stuff so what i'm going to do is set the background of the calendar side the same cream beige color that's here so click on the color go back into the paint bucket tool and add a layer on there and now it's the same color so i'm going to hop back onto the app michi yeah i'm just going to save a white image to so select that white image import it fill it up entirely go on to sticker select august and just basically blow that up center it save airdrop it back onto my laptop drag it in so i'm going to select it to make it even easier since the background is white i can just select onto the image change it to darken and basically that gets rid of the white background what i might do is try add this paper thing too so yeah i'm going to bring it down to 33 because 80 this looks too harsh actually i'll leave it at 35 we'll stick with 35 just make sure it's spread evenly so everything's covered before and after so what i'm going to do now i already have my graphic tablet like connected onto my docket here in case you can't see what i'm going to do now is grab the pen the graphic pen that comes with it as you can see as i move it along it acts as a mouse basically the graphic tablet acts as a larger touchpad so what i'm gonna do is go on the brush tool i don't use this often so i'm just winging it at this point all i want to do is add some scribbles just some patterns that looks good i'm just gonna make sure i select the layer i'm gonna select a random color so i make sure i can see what i'm doing Yeah, I like this size. Spacing. Ooh, nice. Uh, graphic pens give like pressure control, so the harder you press on it, it's going to come bigger, and the lighter you press, it's going to be light. So here is to activate the pressure control. So it's coming out really light, and press harder, it comes more opacity. Yeah, let's go with this. All I'm doing is winging it, guys. I don't have any plan. I'm just going with the flow. I think I'll add a second brush. I actually really like how it's coming out. Yay. <laughs> That's nice. I'm gonna change the size. I'll keep it to this. Nope, I don't like what I did there. Let's try again. What? I'm gonna add one more brush size. I'm gonna try this one. And I'm gonna make this dark, like a gray. I don't know how I feel about those. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just having fun with it. That's honestly what you have to do. Just figure out what you like and go with that. To wing it. <laughs> I like what's going on here. Like, it's actually so cute. It's actually just coming together so nicely. I don't like what I did there. Go back in here, select pure, pure white, and just see what I can do. It's definitely finished. <laughs> it's like 1 a.m. on the dot now. But it's perfect. I'm gonna save it. Let's just go as a file. Just select export quick PNG. PNG is just the best option to be exporting your files in. So there it is there. The two PNGs. August collage. August calendar. I'm actually really happy how it came out. I almost don't believe I did this. I'm very proud of myself. I really like how it came out. I kind of really want to add the, the pen on this side. Let me just do something like this. I hope that's nice. It looks good to me. So I'm going to export it again. There they are. You can see the little details I just added in there. I'm going to airdrop this one onto my phone. I could do Lightroom on my laptop as well, but I just prefer doing Lightroom on my phone. You don't have to do this step. This is just maybe an extra because I want the colors to match a certain aesthetic. Select the photo. Put on that clarity kind of thing. So it's more soft and like dreamy sort of vibe. 22 is nice. Add some vibrance. That's good enough for me. Before and after, before and after. Airdrop it back. Now it's ready to be set up. We're going to go into settings, desktop and screen saver. You can see the folders are set up here. So just in case you couldn't see a difference, this is the before and after edit. Just more soft and aesthetically pleasing. Now that they're both here, I can go on to August. I'm just going to make a new folder called August Fully and drop these two in there. So now I can go select, go into August. So it's only two images instead of all the paperwork and change picture every five seconds. Wow. 
so glad everything's not orange anymore so yeah that's the final step can you guys see i don't know if you can see it's very washed up in it I'm super, 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 duper, duper, duper happy that I finally have a new wallpaper. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you'd like to see more of these how-to tutorials, please, please, please let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.